So the other day I was for a walk and I seen one of my favorite wild pets of all time. A skunk. I seen a skunk. Oh, I love a skunk. I love skunks so bad. And they're my favorite guys. Except with this one, there was a major catch. He was a dead skunk. Oh, rest in peace, a dead style skunk. Which I hate to see. I absolutely hate to see. But here's the good news. He wasn't hurt or nothing. It's like he just went like this. Ugh! Like he wasn't bleeding or nothing or didn't have any wounds or anything gory or horrible. It's almost as if he just went like this. Ah, ah, like he was up in the air with his feeties up in the air like this. Ah, like, ah, you know, so it was just peaceful. And as much as this breaks my heart to see, there was a silver lining for me. Usually silver linings do revolve around me. But for me, this silver lining was that finally I can get as close as I want to a skunk without people breathing down my neck. Usually when I see an alive skunk, I get as close as I can. I follow him around. I get in close for a sneak peek. And all my friends and family are like, don't do that. Don't get close to the skunk. If you go close and you get skunked, you're not allowed to come home. But this time, I could get as close as I wish to this cleanly dead stiff skunk and really get to know what a skunk is like close up. Now look, I didn't take a video or picture out of respect for the dead skunk's family, but here's some appro um, approximations, you know, to, to indicate to you and exemplify to you all the things I liked about the skunk. <laughs> so first of all, he looked just like a, this, like a regular skunk, just being normal and being totally regular, except he was dead, so picture him flipped like that and with his feeties in the air. And I really liked his suit, and he had such puffy pajama pants, like nothing like a puffy pajama pant leg. And then at the end of it, there were these little leathery little feet, like a little, like little freeze-dried mummy feet with a baby. <laughs> And then he had this mug like he was like a sea otter, but like a sea otter that has a stink puff, like and a stinky sea of a stink puff with an otter's mouth. So there you have it. I finally got my dream come true of getting as close as I wish to a skunk without everyone yelling at me and threatening that I can't come home anymore. And to me, this is the great gift, the last great gift that this skunk gave to me was that.